Good afternoon, you two. We are taking a family road trip and we are going to Lofton, Nevada. We're staying at the Edgewater Hotel. Just leaving Los Angeles. Well, Compton actually, 110 Freeway. We should be there in around four hours and a half. And I'm taking all my fits, my kids and family. Say hi, babe. A gas station here and a bunch of trucks. Gotta take a little break. Best from break. Little park over there. Uh, one day we'll one day we'll have one of these guys. One of these. Where are you now, Jasmine? You don't know where you're at? Very far from home? Ooh, look at that Bronco. How much are these? If they had a Chevy, I would have bought one. They don't have no Chevy. Oh. Bro. <laughs> look at this. Whatever, just wash your hands. Huh. Okay. Jumbo Travels does not approve this Chevron. They don't have no alcohol for me. It's hot as hell out here. 103 degrees and no beer for a man to drink. So don't come to this Chevron if you ever come into uh, Lothman. Hey, check out the prices. I thought over there in Los Angeles it was expensive. 739. This little Chevron in the middle of nowhere. Next time I want to stay in that hotel. Mission is to go find a beer. gas station this is so cool like a tanker let's see fuels
Right where we just arrived, guys. Laughlin. Man, you guys, I had to buy some lights so you guys can see the stars out here. It's freaking beautiful. made marijuana for you smokers. Oh, I remember that liquor store right there at Terribles, whatever, is where we pump gas before leaving here. We think we can't even bruise it. That's it. But, right here? This one. That small one? How are you, my love? Good. You're happy? Tiring. You're tired? Mm -hmm. Jasmine. Cool. What? It's all gonna be worth it after the pool. Jazz, how are you? Good. You're excited? Yeah, hotel we're staying to? This one. It's a called the one? Edgewater. The big one? <laughs> big one or the small one? This one, the white one. The small one? Check out the Corvette. Open it, mommy. Check in. So we just arrive at the room. I can't give you guys a tour. Small. Got the mirror. Two beds. We're supposed to have the river view. But you can't see nothing right now because it's all dark and dirty as window. Took forever to check in too. Tomorrow will be better though. Get the jet skis. Let's go to the pool now. Oh, 
Yeah, see ya. <laughs> they turned it off? They turned it off. Yeah, they turned it off. So we're here relaxing, guys. Got here a little late. Um, I was trying to get a beer, that Chevron, but no alcohol. And I just wanted to catch the pool before they close. They close at 11, as you can see, everything's empty now. I'm still hanging in here. Um, tomorrow, though, the plan is to rent a jet ski and use it in the river. Um, let's see if we're able to do it tomorrow. That's it for today, though. Right now we're going to go back to our room, probably get something to eat, and tomorrow have some breakfast and try to go see where we can get a jet ski, and we'll make another video tomorrow. See you guys. We had to get some jack in the crack, eating like bums on the side of the road because the restaurant is closed. We are now in the Arizona side, Bullhead City. And the gas over here is $4.60. I'm gonna fill up tomorrow. But yeah, tomorrow's a big day. Let's eat right now, let's grub. Good morning guys from Laughlin, Nevada. Look at this, look at my view in the morning. I couldn't see shit yesterday, but look. The whole Colorado River, jet skis are barely being set up. Jet ski rental right in front of my room. So you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna rent a jet ski. Cause that's basically, literally what I came for. To rent a jet ski. Paid 400 bucks for his room. Just cause it's 4th of July weekend. Could've got this shit for 60 bucks on a normal day. But that's the thing, when you wanna travel, you're gonna check the prices. Just do it. You never know, you might not be able to. So enjoy yourselves. So I'll be there soon after breakfast. But you know what, coffee first. See you guys later. Check it out, that's life. Check it out, what I'm gonna have later. Lobster with steak. Yeah. Like Jumbo Travels. God damn it, it's hot. Cold water, one dollar. No, this one. No? No. What happened? It is this one. No, that one. Oh. over there, I think. We should have put our little hat, our little That's tent. Nice. Yeah, it's too late, I already got the good spots. Yeah. 
Damn, it's freaking hot today. I wonder how hot it is, like 100 or something. Yep. I need your picture ID. Yep. Ready when it wants to dry? Okay. about a 12 mile an hour current. This 12 mile an hour current plays hazard to all the TikTokers. They want to come across the river going east and west. And they got their camera, much similar to something like that, and they're out there and they're leaning in and they're talking to all their followers. And the next thing you know, they turn that wheel just a little bit and they touch the throttle just a little bit and that current pushes them over. They go completely upside down with their ski and their phone generally floats down to needles. Lost forever. <laughs> and they go, oh, I was only going two miles an hour. That's when most of the falls occur, going slow. So you have to be careful of that current and go crossways. If you're new to jet skiing, spend most of your time going north and south, up and down the river, making some big turns, getting used to the throttle, getting used to the steering. These things don't turn unless you give it gas. You push the wheel, you give it gas, it'll turn. Left, right, however you want. Another important factor about this river, it's not a divided highway. I don't know where you're all from, California the 405, you know, the 40, whatever it is. There's no little double yellow stripes across that river. When you want to make a turn, you look over your shoulder, you see nobody's coming, you turn. You don't look over your shoulder, see nobody's coming, go back, drive for two seconds, and then turn. Because somebody going 80 miles an hour that way Christ. can turn on a dime and be on your six going 60 miles an hour right towards you in a matter of seconds. So you got to keep your head on a swivel. You got to look out for the people. I don't know what time is it now, about 11, close to 11. 10.30. Oh, 10 so people have probably been drinking a couple hours by now. Maybe not fully intoxicated, but some people are out there drinking. So you got to be careful and you got to look out for them. You got to keep a nice little cushion around yourself. Stay away from these damn docks. Those water taxis love to pull out in front of you. You see a water taxi, look at these docks as you're coming up. You see a water taxi on that top, you go out to the river. Because that taxi's pulling out in front of you. As soon as he gets his last patient, his last passenger, and his last dollar tip, he's pulling out. So if you see him out in the river, he's looking for his next dollar tip. He's pulling right in front of you. So always pass to the Arizona side of the river. That's the far side of the river. Okay, that way they never go there. There's nobody there picking up on that side. No speed limit, fast as you want. Everyone else goes fast as they want too. There is one place where you gotta watch what you're doing, and that's in front of Harris. Harris has buoys, white buoys going across the river. And they got a lot of police out there too. These white buoys go across the river. You cross those buoys, you take your finger off the throttle and you have to idle them all the way through that no wake zone as long as you're in it. And that no wake zone from here to Home Depot. It is so far, you can't see the ending buoys after you pull into the beginning buoys. And they just did it like a month ago. I go to work every day on the river. That's an eight and a half minute going north and four and a half minutes going south at idle. Okay? So do not speed through there. And cops are out there looking. There's probably seven patrol boats yesterday. And they're looking for you going through the no wake zone too fast. They're looking for, they got their binoculars. They're looking for that. Because that gives them a reason to just cause to pull you over. 
and get in your grill and ask, how are you doing today? Good. You enjoying the river? Yes, I am. They're smelling your brass <laughs> and your drink because they might be getting all floating while intoxicated. Okay? So don't let them do it. Don't speed through the no wake zone. Watch out for the docks. No splashing, no spraying each other. You only have one season where you can't splash or spray anybody. Yeah. But don't get into it with anybody else. Because you come back with damage, I'm going to have to charge you. Okay. $45 an inch. Average damage, 10 inches, 450 bucks. Don't suck up any rocks. You find that this is a river. It goes from 25 feet deep to 2.5 inches. You suck up these rocks, I'm going to have to give you a bill for $200 for a new one color. So if you find yourself in shallow water, turn that ski off. That current will float you to deeper water. Just hit that red button, take off again. All right? Let's okay, have some cool. fun. You guys do Edward! Hey! One for an hour! Put it on Caesar. That shit is just gonna turn down. So you have to speed up a little bit when that turns. And you can get near like you right here. The jet ski no, first time. I'm gonna walk you through a video real quick. Okay. In case you guys flip the jet ski, you know how to turn it over on the water. Okay. And then it Alright, me and I'm gonna go first. So we just wait here? Yeah. Oh, and I got the red one. Yeah, somewhat. <laughs> Gotta get in this river. Ugh. Hey, I'm in the river. Right here. So we're gonna get in the Colorado River. So breakfast is skipped. We were uh, having too much fun on those jet skis. So now it's brunch time. It's already 12 o'clock. So you're making breakfast with lunch already. But I find myself a little brewski. Cheers to you guys. Cheers to Laughlin.
So we're gonna go to the uh, other side of the river, which is Arizona, Bullhead City. And we're gonna go to a marisco spot. We're gonna eat some seafood and check it out on that side. Gas prices are pretty cheap out there too. It's like $4.69. So I'm gonna probably fill up over there too before I leave. It's crazy how it's cheaper out here for the gas in Arizona. And then you come on this side of Nevada, it's still kind of pricey. Like, like uh, I think it's even worse than uh, California. The guy in here in Nevada is like $8. But if you go to across this river, Colorado River, um, the gallons are like four sixty nine. dollars So that's where we're going to fill up. Beautiful day today. Family's here, whole gang, Jasmine. How you doing? Good. My love? Good. You wanna make some coffee? Mountain coffee? <laughs> Time for a recharge. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, check it out. This is heaven on earth right here. It's all empty. Damn, it's all empty. Okay, well, let's get some beer to make that up. Terrible, terrible. Rubber ducky, you're the one. Lane close. This way. Oh, I forgot to put my fridge in the truck, man. Damn. I'm gonna need some ice. So I'm gonna go here. Cashew cunha! Well, let's put some ice. Since we can't, we didn't bring our little cooler. Left it at the hotel. We improvise. We improvise. So. Go. Naruto gang. Oh, I think I'm gonna get tatted right here, people. I've been trying to get tatted. I'm a little wussy though, I'm scared of pain. Yeah, I'll probably do it pretty soon. I'll probably make a video of me getting tatted. Put a tattoo on my neck right here that says Budweiser. Stumble Travels. <laughs> it's all cap. It's lunchtime.
come in in the way. Just finished having a brunch there. It's hot as hell. It's probably like 107 degrees out here. But the Escalade is still hanging in there. And we are about to go back to our hotel. To at the river. trying to board the uh, water taxi the rates are there i think it's like five bucks one way so like ten dollars to bring me back in the laughing twice i have to do it today This is it for uh, Laughlin, Nevada. We're heading home. Four hours and a half, probably nonstop. I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys on the next one.